Okay, so uh, I'm nearing the end. Uh, I see daylight at the end of the tunnel for this project. Uh, uh, I've got my spine cut. I've got it fitted. Everything's working fine there. And uh, the next order of business is to uh, cut the thread for the uh, preload uh, nut. Where did I put that? This bad boy right here. So um, in this section right here, there's two bearings. Uh, this develops the preload, screws onto the end of there. Um, this got a little gnarled up. It's chowdered in a few spots. Um, makes me wonder if this came apart by somebody else, because I simply don't recall doing all this damage when I removed this. Uh, I used to punch, but yeah, this is pretty bad. But regardless, anyway, another day. So uh, I need to thread this, and uh, I still need to cut the uh, the sheave portion. But for sake of work holding, uh, I'm going to do that last, and the threading is going to happen next. So uh, well, obviously what I need to do is uh, find out what pitch I'm dealing with here. So I have my little thread gauge, and I've already done this leg work, but uh, I'm looking at an inch 18, uh, I believe. That's an 18 anyway. Uh, so you can get up in there or not. Eh, probably not. Anyway, so it's an 18. So uh, uh, I'm going to set up to do that. Um, this is my first attempt threading on this uh, little South Bend 9A. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Um, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> But uh, so th this is going to be my first attempt. Uh, obviously, I'm going to do a little scratch pass, and uh, I'm going to have to, you know, sum out, figure out somehow I'm going to rework this camera angle because right now you're sitting on the cross slide. And the stand this thing came with is just a nightmare, and it, it's not the most sturdy thing. And there's no way I could take a video without an immense amount of vibration. So anyway, so I, I've I've got my uh, I've got my pitch. Uh, I've already got this chucked up and running true um, even though it's a three drawn it's a scroll chuck um, it doesn't sit right you know you tighten up your chuck and give it a little nudge here and there make sure you're running 100% true so that's going to be fine um, there are a couple more other features to this part uh, right here there's a groove um, I'm not too sure of the purpose to be honest with you um, it, it looks like a snap ring groove I'll have to check the, the exploded parts diagram see if there's actually supposed to be something on there uh, could very well be. Uh, I'm not too sure. It is a pretty. Uh, it's a very small adjustment from the press fit to the journal, uh, to the journal size. I, I can't tell you offhand what it is, but I know it's very minor. Um, well, wait, let's find out. Bear with me for a second. So inch thirty seven ninety inch thirty nine. Yeah, so about twenty thou. Um, it feels a little bit less actually on this and this part probably due to wear. Um, but anyways, I, uh, I I made this to fit the bearings, and uh, I made this to fit that. So uh, I've got a little bit more of a step here. But anyway, so regardless, there's where I'm at. Uh, threading next, uh, I'll do that quick. I'm going to use this little tool I made up. Uh, I made this to run up on a shoulder, um, so it's, uh, it's it's not typical. There you go. I mean, uh, I've got it offset just so I could get tighter to a shoulder that I was uh, cutting a cutting a thread on. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit. I, I dressed it up with um, with uh, one of those little there actually. And these guys, uh, our Princess Auto Harbor Freight. I don't recommend these things. They're crap. I fought with it, <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's what I used to uh, to get the rough angle. And then I actually used some sandpaper to get myself to polish up the edge and get myself to round that over just a little bit. And get myself a rat on the tip. So that's the, that's the bit I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to chuck that up. I'm going to set it up. I'll set up the mill, or sorry, set up the lathe for my thread, and uh, I'll do a scratch pass. And we'll see it red. Back in a second. All right, so uh, change my camera angle here. Um, so I'm backing up, and you can hardly see that bit. Sorry, there you go. Get a little bit of a shadow. 
Uh, lighting's a little too good. <laughs> anyway, I, I turn it down, tone it down a little bit, but uh, I don't think it makes like a difference. Maybe if. Uh, How's that? Oh, if I had black paper, that would work. Anyway, okay, regardless. So, uh, setting this up, uh, I keep my compound at the, uh, the 30, uh, 29 and a half. Pick your poison, whatever you prefer. I ballpark it in between. I'm not a machinist. Close enough for me. Anyways, so I just take my little handy dandy tool here. Make sure I'm square. And I'm off a little bit here. Not much, just a little. I've got my, uh, my quick change sitting a little loose right now. Let's dial that in. Bob's your uncle. Take that up. <clears throat> Double check. She turned on me. Hmm? No, no, oh, maybe. No, oh, I think I'm good. Yep, yeah, I'm good. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm good there. Uh, I'm not dialed in all the way, but I, I, I don't butt up tight. I just, uh, I come across this way just a little. And then I pull back. I'm looking to for a matched angle. I'm not trying to butt it right up tight. So anyways, so that's good. Uh, like I said, I keep my compound at the uh, at the the necessary 29 and a half anyway. Uh, that's where I do all my work. Um, the lathe was a little bit sloppy. I've tightened up the Gibbs, whatnot, to stop things from moving around. Uh, next up, I'm going to uh, set my gearbox. For the 18. What am I looking at here? So I'm looking at B and all right. So uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get adventurous here, and I'm actually gonna turn this on. Start this up. Uh, I'm gonna engage my back gear. Just give me a second here. Uh, I'm trying to make this as slow as I can. Just give me a, I'm going to give this a bump, see how, uh, how bad this uh, shake is. Uh, just make sure you got nothing engaged here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is uh, um, uh, I could probably one hand this, but uh, I'll give it a go. I'm going to shut off and uh, try to set this up. I've got a couple of things sitting around I might be able to use to prop up this camera. All right, back in a second. All right, we're back. Uh, <laughs> I improvised myself up a little uh, camera stand here, and I've got a oh, it's just a tangled mess. Things you do for YouTube videos. Anyway, so we're set up to uh, cut this thread. Bear with me. Yeah. So uh, the next. Uh, I guess I can't uh, walk too quickly there, sorry. Maybe I have to have stabilized. Anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, just like it's in Scratch Pass. Take our scratch pass, verify the thread, and uh, then I'm going to get into my machinery handbook and see how far I need to go. I actually haven't even done that yet. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Anyway, so I'm going to verify the scratch pass first, and uh, we'll start there. Put 
working my way in. There we go. Just need to, need to set my zero here. Gotta love old lays. Set my zero on my uh, cross feed here. There it is. Put that over. Sorry, this isn't making for a very exciting video. And I got that tightened up. So I'm just scratching there. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna engage the uh, engage the feed from there and see where I end up. All right. So where did I put that thread gauge? There it is. That's where we at here. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Let me zoom in there a little better. The focus on this thing's flipping horrible. And see how you can see that? Yeah. Bingo bango. Excellent. All right, so we got that going. I'm just going to go check my, my my Bible, see exactly where I need to be as far as depth goes, and uh, Bob is your uncle. All right, talk to you soon. All right, so uh, sorry for the awkward angle. With the, it appears to be one. Um, I've gone ahead and I've done uh, a bit of the threading. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to focus for you. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> went through a mask cleaned up the other day and I can't find my damn book. So, um, I've been winging it. Uh, now I do have, uh, the nuts. So anyways, uh, it's getting to the point where it's just starting and then it hangs up. Uh, I've cleaned it up with a file and, uh, I'm gradually waking my, making my way in. I've, uh, verified again that, uh, everything is right as rain here and I've got the correct pitch. So I know everything's fine, <laughs> but I'm just playing it by ear rather than running the numbers. So uh, that's usually the way I end up doing things anyway. So I'm getting pretty close to the end. Um, I guess I'll do a couple passes. Uh, I might have to kill the audio when I go to uh, make the video, but uh, I'll do a couple passes. I'm getting really close, so it, it might be to a point now where it's worthwhile showing. So uh, bear with me for a second here. This is the spring pass just to make sure where I was. Uh, I didn't want to go too deep. Uh, when I first started, I had a I had a carriage dial set up, but uh, the vibration is just too bad on the machine, and uh, I couldn't keep it on. This is only a couple thou. Nothing too drastic. And, uh, I don't have a lot of faith on the machine. Again, this is the first time I've threaded with it. So uh, after every pass, I'm taking the spring pass.
you can see why. Just gonna be one more thou. And I'm gonna check again. There we go. Type. Uh, it took a couple more passes, and then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to hit it with a file. See where I end up. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, most definitely not the best thread I've ever cut. Um, something a little wonky going on with this thing, but. Uh, Anyway, so where I'm at is, uh, I'm just, just getting this nut to fit on. Now, I think part of the problem is uh, some less than stellar threading. Another part of some dirty parts, but, uh, anyway... starts. I was just taking some cleanup passes and I think I nailed it. I think that's exactly where I need to be. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. That's exactly what I need. So I think basically now it's just a matter of uh, just See if I can back up. Oh, that's four. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. But uh, anyway, so I guess I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Hit it with the file. Uh, I need to put a chamfer on that. I should have done it before I started threading. But uh, at any rate, there you go. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a little rough. It just needs to be cleaned up. I'll follow it for a little while. Get it nice and clean. It doesn't help that the, the locking of the collar is... Uh, not exactly clean itself, but uh, so anyways, there you go. One more step done. Um, again, it's not my best threading jobs. Bit of a mess up there, but uh, yeah, it's gonna work. Hip hip hooray! One last step. Got to cut the. Uh, see if I can swing this over. A little bit. There you go. Yep. Yeah, so I just gotta. I'll cut this uh, sheave. And uh, that's a whole new ball of wax. I've never done that before either. And then, if she's done, I can actually start reassembling my mill. Extremely exciting. Oh, I'm going to check, uh, before I take this out of the, the chuck, I'm going to check the exploded drawing uh, diagram on this, on this uh, assembly and see whether or not there's a, a requirement for that of a snap ring here. There's that groove. Where'd the old bird go? Right here. This, uh, this groove.
I don't know if it needs to be there or not. We're going to find out.